As you well know, the Torah portion takes its name from the first significant Hebrew word of the portion. And this week that word is Baha'alotacha. And it's used in reference to setting up, mounting the lights, the lamps in the ancient temple, which uh, burned there for a variety of reasons. Now we don't live in the ancient temple. We don't worship in the ancient temple anymore. We live in the modern world. And so many of the things from the ancient temple have transferred over and take their place. The Ner Tamid, for example, um, and uh, the way that the Torah is clothed, is much, much like the priest was clothed in ancient days. But light in those days, as in our days, is also symbolic of something else. Besides setting up the lamp or raising us up by bringing light, um, we do that with an internal kind of light. We become enlightened, we become lit up. Our faces are lit up sometimes. We think of something happy, we think of something memorable, we think of some moment in our life that really set things apart for us. This week, every year, I get very excited because Behalotacha reminds me of June 8th, 1963, when I became a bar mitzvah this was indeed my Torah portion from all those years ago. And when I think of that moment, I think of the family who were in my life then, I think of my dreams for the future, I think of my grandfather who at the day of my bar mitzvah said, you know, you ought to become a rabbi one day. I think of all those things and um, my lights are lit up and my soul is lit up and I think of other turning points. And I suggest that each of us do that with the Torah portion this week. Ha'alotacha. Focus back on those moments in your life that still shine, that bring light to you, and that uh, gladden your heart. Shabbat Shalom.